Look, it's so shiny. I think we're ready to. I think we're ready to assemble. I think we're ready to assemble. I don't want you to talk. I'm talking. This bamboo tray got really moldy and dirty, so I have to tackle it right now. I kept it here because of the wooden aesthetic, but there's so many things going on considering the shape and whatnot. So I think it has to go, and I think this is the easiest way to solve the problem. This is the popular IKEA wooden rack. I've seen it in many IKEA showrooms used as children's book display, but of course we can use it in so many different ways. Since I'm not close to Pasay where IKEA Philippines is located, I bought it from a shopping store called Home Transition. This one, I think, is the perfect one for my kitchen. Right after I received the package, I was so excited, I put everything together. But then I realized what happened to my wooden tray. Without polish or protective layer, it will absorb moisture, oil, and dirt. So I'm gonna need a locker, I mean, sanding sealer, and for initial coat, and maybe this is for the last coat. And some container, brush. This one is a little bit rough, so maybe we'll just sand it for a little bit. And whenever I am, this right here is always with me. Smelling things. While I sand it down, I noticed that there could be areas that couldn't be reached with a brush. But I was lazy, so I ignored the thought. I sanded all the sides. I was in a hurry to apply my first coat of sanding sealer. Right off the bat, I know it's kind of thick for it to spread out properly, but then again, because I'm impatient, I want to get it done quickly. So I ignored the thought for the second time. Did you notice how I went back and forth on the same spot? I know, it was really bad. Look how sloppy that is, but I went on and on with applying two coats of sanding sealer and letting it dry in between. Then I noticed this. I know, it's an ugly rough texture. Either because I was so impatient and I wasn't listening to myself. So I took it apart right away so I can sand it down properly. So I repeated the same process. I can't be impatient with this. So I sand it down nicely, cleaned it with a towel. I think dust, if sealed down with a sanding sealer, can create a rough texture. Then I applied a thin coat of sanding sealer again, let it get really, really dry before sanding it down and apply another coat yet again. So when it was all nice and smooth, I was all ready for the final step, the clear gloss. But I don't want to repeat the same mistake, so this time I mix it with a thinning agent. Because a thick gloss to start with is so hard to handle and with a thinning agent, it will spread out evenly and nicely. Also, don't forget to clean the brush because it's just like applying nail polish. You have to remove the excess so it applies like a dream. So I think everything is ready. You can see it's shiny now. Look at this that one, so shiny. So I think I'm ready to put everything together. It won't absorb water.
go to work. Simón de 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 Simón de